During Tesla's Q1 2025 earnings call, Chief Financial Officer Vibe of Taneja reaffirmed a key direction for the company. Having a strategy of providing the best product at a competitive price is going to be a winner. And this is the reason we're still focused on bringing cheaper models to market soon. The start of production is still planned for June. But there are hindrances. The impact of tariffs on the energy business will be outsized since we source LFP battery cells from China. We've also been working on securing additional supply chain from non-China-based suppliers. Chains outside China. And now they've unveiled a major step forward, a brand new battery roadmap featuring next generation sodium sulfur cells developed by researchers in Sydney, Australia. These cutting edge batteries promise greater performance, increased safety, and significantly lower costs. If this innovation takes off, it could disrupt China's dominance in the lithium market entirely. If you want to stay ahead of the curve on Tesla's game-changing developments, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you never miss an update. Help us hit 40k subscribers and be among the first to know what's coming next. What's the problem with lithium anyway? Lithium, the core material used in most electric vehicle EV batteries, comes with its share of problems. One major concern is price volatility. Over the past three years, lithium prices have surged more than 500%. Back in 2020, a ton of lithium cost around $6,000, but by late 2022, prices soared past $60,000 per ton. This unpredictability makes it tough for both car makers and consumers to forecast EV costs, adding uncertainty to the market. On top of that, lithium mining poses serious environmental risks. In South America, extracting one ton of lithium can require as much as 2.2 million liters of water, often leading to water shortages in already dry regions. The process also generates toxic waste, raising sustainability concerns. Another issue? Global dependence on China. Right now, China handles over 70% of the world's lithium refining, placing the entire EV industry at risk. Any rise in geopolitical tensions could choke the supply, spike prices, and limit global access, something we already saw during the 2022 chip shortage. And then there's demand. As EV adoption grows, lithium demand is expected to triple by 2030. Sales could jump from 10 million units in 2022 to over 30 million annually by the end of the decade. With demand growing and supply under pressure, some analysts warn lithium-ion battery costs could double by 2035, threatening EV affordability and accessibility. So is lithium quietly undermining the EV future? Let me know what you think. Type yes or no in the comments. Could sodium sulfur be the lithium killer? The next big thing in battery innovation might already be here, the second-generation sodium sulfur battery developed by researchers at the University of Sydney. Unlike lithium-ion batteries that depend on rare, geographically limited elements, these new cells use salt and sulfur, materials that are widely available and inexpensive. That makes them over 1,000 times more accessible than lithium, drastically reducing both environmental damage and geopolitical risk. In terms of performance, sodium sulfur batteries are impressive. While lithium-ion batteries typically degrade after 1,000 to 2,000 charge cycles, sodium sulfur variants can last 8,000 to 10,000 cycles for times longer. That could significantly lower lifetime EV ownership costs. They also pack serious energy. With a theoretical energy density of up to 760 WH slash kg, they far surpass lithium ions typical 250 to 300 WH slash kg. That's a big deal for EV range and efficiency. These batteries are lightweight, heat resistant and safe, even at high temps up to 350 degrees Celsius. Unlike lithium cells which can overheat or even catch fire, sodium sulfur batteries are non-toxic and non-flammable. Think Tesla's about to leap ahead of the pack with this tech? Drop salt power in the comments if you're ready. Why sodium sulfur is ideal for Tesla's Model 2. Tesla's upcoming Model 2 aims to be a budget-friendly, high-performance EV that appeals to the masses. And the key to pulling this off? Reducing dependency on expensive, volatile lithium battery components. Enter sodium sulfur batteries, a perfect fit for the Model 2. These cells use cheap, abundant materials like salt and sulfur. Countries like Australia, a strong U.S. ally, are rich in both, allowing Tesla to sidestep trade risks and avoid tariffs. In cost terms, sodium sulfur wins again. 
While lithium-ion batteries currently cost $130 to $150 per kilowatt hour, sodium sulfur versions could be produced for as low as $100 and possibly down to $70 per kilowatt hour in the future. Sodium carbonate costs around $300 to $400 per ton, compared to $20,000 to $30,000 per ton for lithium carbonate. The result? A Model 2 priced at or below $11,957, making it one of the most affordable EVs on the market. Better yet, sodium sulfur batteries have a longer lifespan, higher energy density, and weigh 20 to 30 percent less than lithium cells. That means more range, up to 350 miles, and better performance in hot or cold climates, without requiring active cooling. Tesla's switch to sodium sulfur not only trims costs, but also removes reliance on China's lithium market. With safer, more sustainable raw materials that are globally sourced, Tesla gains a major strategic advantage. Do you think the Model 2 will reshape the EV world? Type Model 2 in the comments if you're ready for affordable, high-tech driving. How will Tesla roll out this tech? Tesla isn't just watching the sodium sulfur revolution, it's preparing to lead it. Thanks to breakthroughs from the University of Sydney, Gen 2 sodium sulfur batteries are now scalable and ready for commercial rollout. And Tesla is perfectly positioned to adopt them. One key reason is Tesla's vertical integration. Its gigafactories can be retooled for new battery chemistries without massive overhauls. That flexibility means Tesla can start building sodium sulfur cells quickly once the tech is market ready. Tesla Energy, the division behind Powerwall and Megapack, could also be the launch pad. Stationary energy storage is an ideal first application, given its less demanding energy density needs. And the battery's safety and stability make them perfect for long-term grid storage. But the real breakthrough might be the Model 2. With its small size, mass market focus, and manageable battery needs, it's the ideal candidate to debut sodium sulfur batteries at scale. If successful, this could mark the first time such a battery chemistry is mass-produced in EVs. The materials, salt and sulfur, are cheap, safe, and easy to source globally. This means lower costs, fewer trade risks, and more secure supply chains. With pilot production potentially starting as soon as Q3 2025, Tesla could lead a new era in affordable EVs. The only question now is, how soon will they make the switch? With rising lithium prices and intensifying global tensions, Tesla has every reason to shift to sodium sulfur and all the tools to do it. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit subscribe now for more insights on Elon Musk's latest moves and Tesla's next big breakthroughs.